Welcome back everybody to part 10 of our Unity Beginners tutorial series. I'm so glad to see you back here again and welcome also to new subscribers. I much appreciate you coming to visit. Today we're going to have quite a chilled out session. We're just going to make and create more levels for our project and then we are going to write a function that's going to allow us that when we hit the goal pole we can then load a new scene, a next level. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So to get cracking, I would like us all to open up our level one scene as we're going to use this as the template with which to build all our other levels as we have everything we need already in place, ready to go. And I want you to have fun, relax and really put into practice everything you've learned up to now and enjoy yourselves in experimenting and creating some funky little levels for our game. Before we do though, we must Make sure that all our prefabs are up to date and ready to go as we have made a change to our spike pit component. So let's update that in our prefabs, shall we? So go to our prefabs, open up the spike pit. And if you remember, we had changed the collider on one of our spikes to cover both rather than have two individual colliders. So open up our spike pit and I want you to replicate here exactly the same as what you did in our scene. So I used the right spike, I edit the collider and dragged it to cover both, the one on the left there, and then the collider on the left, I deleted the component or unclick the checkbox here next to box collider 2D to deactivate it. That's now updated. Let's hop back into our scene and we are now ready to go. Now, how you want to design your levels is entirely up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear this clean of our current level game objects and use the building blocks, our prefabs, to go through and make a level together and then we'll go from there. So to do that, let's go to our level in the hierarchy where we have all our level objects and I want you to keep the goal pole, the ground, the ceiling, left and right wall game objects and you can go ahead and delete the rest as we do not need them you can keep some if you want and rearrange them but we will just start a clean just like that and what we're going to do is use our prefabs to start building i'm going to go ahead and pick a large platform drag it into our level game object in the hierarchy very important making sure we have our move tool selected Hold down control and we can now move that and it will snap to our grid so we can get clear, sharp placement. I'm gonna put that in the center, just like that. Then I will take a single block, drag that and also drop it into our level in the hierarchy. I will lower that down just to make a nice little pyramid in the center. Then with the block highlighted, I'll press control D to duplicate it. I will drag that across to the right. I will control D to duplicate again. And I will drag that just above it to create a tricky little step, a nice gap between those two. And I feel a platform across the top would be good. So we can't just cheat or speed run it by jumping on the little pyramid here. So let's go ahead and take our last platform again. Let's drag that into there. Let's move it across, there we go. I will duplicate that again, leaving the gap in the middle where I will double click on the single block in the scene and it will take us to it. I will duplicate that and just put it in the middle to plug that gap. I will move the flag up as well. So I'll double click on the flag in our scene and once it's highlighted, I'll drag it up two more spaces, there we go. And I will duplicate a large platform and I will put our flag on top of that. There, that looks good to me. It's nice, it's simple. So let's go ahead and play test and have a play around. Make sure your level is achievable. You don't wanna have an unachievable level. And there we go. If you're happy with it, happy days. If not, make the necessary changes you want to make. Then once that's done, go back into our editor 
go to file save as and if we double click on scenes we can save it simply as level two there we are and there we go that's our level two done do not forget we want to add this level now to our build settings so go into file build settings and add open scenes to our scenes in build and there we go we now have main menu level one and level two cancel that save again just to make sure and now it's over to you i want you to repeat the process that we have just done by creating a blank eliminating the game objects we don't want and putting in the prefabs you desire to make another let's say at least three levels you can make however many you like but we'll do a minimum of three so we can have five levels to play around with and when you all are ready we can come straight back and i'll show you how we can progress to the next level upon reaching our flag so pause this video go ahead and build have some fun go crazy experiment and i will see you shortly all right welcome back everybody i hope you had fun building your levels and that they are ready to go as you can see in my scenes folder here i too have been busy making levels i've got my levels here ready to go and i want to list them by adjusting this slider down here to the left we'll list them if you go to the right it will enlarge them so i list them in the left each level has been play tested and more importantly added into our build settings in file it's very important that they are all there because we're now going to move on to writing a function that's going to allow us to progress to the next level upon hitting that goal pole how do you think we're going to do it it's something we have done numerous times already if you guessed using scene management in our menu script you guess correct so I'd like you to go ahead and open up your menu script, please. And once it's open, first things first, as we're going to be using our scenes, we need to add at the top, like we've done before, using Unity Engine dot scene management. There we are. Very important. We're also going to want a string to name the next level we want to move on to. So at the top here. We're going to say public string next level. There we are. Now, our replay function, we're not going to use that anymore. In its place, we're going to reuse that button to our next level button. But rather than delete it, because we might still want to use this function for something else later in the project, you, you don't know. Who knows? We're going to type in just before public forward slash followed by asterisk then at the end the opposite asterisk forward slash and what that does is it makes the lines of code between those two points null and void so we don't have to worry about it now with those in place and out of the way let's go ahead and write our new function next level we'll do that underneath quick game here so type in public void and we'll call it next level there we go open up our curly brackets so when we press next level button what do we want to happen well we want to load the next scene that we've designated as the continuum level so if it's level one level two level two level three level four level five etc and we do that by the familiar line of code scene manager dot load scene and what scene do we want to load well we have our string up there next level end with semicolon save that line of code and let's go back into our editor once we're back in let the code compile then let's go to our victory screen set it as active so we can see it open it up and let's completely change our replay button so let's rename it to next level and we will do the same at our text as well we'll call that next level also there we are you'll see down here as well at the on click function that it says missing menus.replay that's because 
that function is now null and void. So let's update that. We're going to menus, next level. Excellent. Now, if we click on our victory screen, we'll see that we have our string there for the level that we want to load. And of course, we're in level one right now. So we're gonna type in, and as always, spelling is important, level two, excellent. Let's set this as unactive, save it, and let's give it a test, shall we? Drop into your level, give it a quick run, so that when we get to the flag, we can then hit next level, boom, there we are, level two, excellent. Let's go back now. And once you're back, I would like you to set our victory screen as active, find our next level button, control C to copy that, and we are then going to apply it to all our other scenes. So make sure you set it active, drop in, inside, you can just paste that there, delete our replay button, apply the necessary changes, get it all update, next level, Victory screen, next level, level three. Set it as an active, save, have a run, and that should now update level two, so we can now move on to level three. So level two, nice and basic. There we are, just hopping along, jumping along. There we are, next level, bang, level three. There we go. So apply all those changes, just like we have done to each and every scene, and when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. Well, hey, there we go. All five levels complete and running smoothly, but what happens when we click next level on our final level? You'll find out in a few videos time. We're gonna prepare a special level for that. Until then guys, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the series so far and see the value in what we're doing. If you do, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing below. Also, don't forget, feel free to follow us on Instagram or Twitter where you can hit us up with any questions you may have. And below in the description will be, for your convenience, copies of the code for you to check at home, as well as some pictures of my levels to help you generate some ideas of your own. Have fun creating your levels, guys. Go crazy. And I will see you very soon in the next video. I much appreciate having you here. I hope you're learning and having fun. And I'll see you soon. Take care, guys.